she's 13. It's her job to make you crazy. If she thinks she's grown up, let her act it. Uh, you ought to go to Edmund. To two of you. She's got school, Peter. Oh, a couple of days won't kill her. Do some shopping. Have some fun. What? Everybody's in bed. If they want a drink, they're not going to hang around waiting for you to find them. And working 20 hours a day is not the answer. Well, when you know what the answer is, let me know. Guard. You might as well go. You too. under my nose, eh? Does that make it more fun? Huh? Ugh. Wait a minute. I am not finished. I am. Who brought the beer? I told you to stay away from him. Who? You know who. Okay, you go straight to the detachment after school and no more going out at night. Why don't you just put me in jail? Cop. What? You stay. I don't want her hanging around here after school. No beating lessons, no soccer. She goes straight to the detachment. When's helping her with her math? Well, they can work at the detachment. I'll speak to Rosie. And I don't want her anywhere near Leonard. This is a small school, Michelle. I'll try. Stay away from her. Tell her she's always after me. You too, Hannah. Where'd you get these? Fish camp. Almost dropped on my head. Place was messed up. Surveyors? Parties. Burn the lean to. Booze? This is not just for your own personal use, you know. Where's Albert? South Cape Resources PLC. The diamond guys? 
Are they staking here? The bench nearly landed on Joe. Did anybody warn you about this? In Yellowknife? They don't have to warn anybody. They drop them near Joe's camp. Sometimes they warn the chief. A little courtesy? I'll call Yellowknife. There's something else? Joe's fish camp got wrecked. Drinking parties. One in town last night, too. I heard. There are kids there. Miners. Should keep an eye on it. Nobody told you about the staking? I don't even know why they bother planting them anymore. All claims are filed by computer these days. We should talk about it at the next council meeting. Sure. Land claims, too. That's always a hot ticket. He knows. About the staking, it's not illegal. It would be if we had a land claim settlement. The Dog River going for 51%. Was Hannah there? With Leonard Sake and Willie McNeil. Gas sniffers. Let me talk to her. About what? Well, maybe there's stuff she doesn't want to say to you. Sometimes it's easier to talk to somebody else. Oh, sure it's easier. She can blame everything on me. It's not about blame. I'm not waiting till she's drinking every night and... She's my kid living in my house. She does what I say. Nothing. Yeah, right. I'm the one she's mad at. I'm the one who's gonna get busted, okay? So do me a favor. What? Get lost. <laughs> they dropped it on your head? Did it hit you? Too bad. You could have sued. A guy in the Winnipeg fell off his neighbor's ladder, sued him. Sue with the neighbor? Be something if they found diamonds here, eh? <laughs> Gee, here we go again. <laughs> diamonds. The circumference is the diameter times pi, or if you want. Where's Michelle? Eric's. Shot. Is this Eric's stuff? Yeah. Here, he gave this to me, and then I left it with Mary when I moved in with Albert, but she just bought a new CD player, so maybe his kids want it. Yeah, okay. Willie says they're looking for diamonds. My mother had this beautiful diamond wedding ring, but she sold it when my father left her. I'll get a box. Then she cut his picture out of all the photo albums. How do you know it's the circumference? It's in the book. But if the book said you were ugly and stupid, would you believe it? Wait. Show me now. That won't come off, you know. What's this? A circumference. Wipe it off. Get a scrub brush and a bucket. It's my homework. <clears throat> Come on, Wayne. Let's go mail this. Jerry's got the address. You're going to clean this up now. Now! I heard you. Where's the bucket? Someone broke into this door. Uh, okay. Lucky they didn't hurt themselves or set the place on fire. What a goddamn mess. I've seen meter bears.
you get this? I said, where'd you get this? No. This was Eric's. It was in the mail. I want to know who took it. He mailed you. It was me. Was Hannah there? So you're wandering through the bush and just happened to find a party? I guess. Yeah, right. You've been to Hay River. Was it fun? I didn't take the boom box. Well, who took it? I said, who took it? Hannah. How do you know? You weren't even there. Get out. This isn't over. I said, get out. Not to you. Was it them? I'm gonna thump those grins right off your faces. Rosie, it's all from the store. I need a complete list and a statement. Out, eh? Who broke into the store? Leonard, William, who else? Were you there? I want a lawyer. You knew about the party. You told them about the boom box. Hannah, answer me. I broke in and I took the boom box. You want me to charge you? Is that it? So you can show them what a big shot you are? William went to Hay River. You want to do that too? I'm already in prison living with you. Lock me out. Get out of there. I did it. Lock me out. Get out or I will lock you up. Michelle. Albert's here. I'm getting complaints. From who? Parents. You're harassing the kids. They broke into the store. You charge anybody? I want a guard! Give me a guard! Give me a guard or I'm gonna kill myself! Shouldn't be in there without a guard. I'm not going home. You'll do what I say. She can come to our place. Go ahead. What happened? There was a break-in. They stole Eric's boom box. It was in the mail. Hannah? She says she did it. It's not okay. If she did it, I have to charge her. You can't. I need Eric. Albert, a band ought to pay some damages. 
got insurance. Premiums go up. It's a cost. That's business. Jerry, come here. They didn't get any meat. It's in a freezer. I know what's in the freezer. Who filed the complaints against Michelle? Oh, a bunch of people. I want to talk to them. Oh, I already did. Is our kid still in a bucket? She's with us. Hmm. Hey, Albert. I hear your cousin Norm and Leon got a contract to supply food for the uh, diamond company. I could have done that. You haven't got any food. Could have flown it in. That's what Norm's doing. How? The bank cut off your credit. We don't carry pizza pops either, or microwave popcorn. <clears throat> Just clean the grill, will you? I stock the shelves. I know what's there. And I do inventory. And I gave Michelle a list, which goes on the police report. I'll just have to redo it, won't I? So Norman gets the contract, and you get 50%? A little finder's fee? You knew they were coming in. They can do whatever they want. And take whatever they want? It's our land. That's right. Get the band back on the tribal council. We should be negotiating with the government. You negotiate, you give things away. There's nothing to negotiate. I didn't get into much trouble when I was 13, but I remember my mom used to. Well, I mean, if I had children. Well, you don't. You're right. But if I did. You think what you did is okay? It was just a little party. What about the break-in? I got everything back. The point is, what are you going to do now? You know what you ought to do is apologize to Jerry. Offer to pay him back. And apologize to your mother, too. She doesn't want to push this. Hannah, I want you to come home. No. Hannah! Let her stay here for a few days. No. A little time off from each other. If she wants to act like a criminal, let her face up to it. She will. Give her time. She's not going to hide behind you and Peter. I'll send her home. So she finds these stones, big ones, eh? Really pretty. She brings them home, throws them in the drawer, and forgets about them. Goes First, you have to find the Kimberlite. What's that Kimberlite? Stuff that they hide diamonds in. Then, like, about ten years later, she finds them, and she brings them to this guy so he can make earrings or something. Then they drill into the ground. And then we're rich? Guy looks at the stones and says... These are diamonds, worth thousands and thousands. The guy says, where'd you find them? She thinks and thinks. She can't remember. She goes into the bush and looks and looks. She goes crazy looking. She never remembered. Was she from around here? I don't know. Finished? You used to like doing homework. No one likes homework. I hated school. I was so lonely, I just wanted to go home and see my family. You've got a home, your own bedroom. Hannah, 
What happened? Just tell me and we can deal with it. I can't. Why? We used to talk. If I'm making mistakes, tell me. You're a cop, okay? I'm your mother. Thanks forever, Constable Candy. Who? Fletcher? I have no idea. Uh, I think he's here. Okay. Fletcher. Brian Fletcher. Hay River. <laughs> among other places. You're Michelle Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Fine ground, medium blend. I'm Cormier. Thanks. I'm sorry about Olson. I heard good things about him. You came from Hay River to bring me coffee? You're investigating a B&E? As I understand it, it's a conflict of interest problem with a suspect. Yeah, my daughter. Carmier sent you? He didn't tell you it was my daughter? No. Well, who called Cormier? I don't know. You mind? You want one? You want to fill me in? Some kids broke into the coffee shop. They took some junk food, a radio. Cormier said something about the mail. The store is also the post office. The radio was Eric's. Corporal Olson? It was being mailed to his family. Is it already stamped? Hmm. That could be a problem. You said it was a bunch of kids. Catch them all? None of them are talking, except my daughter. What'd she say? She said she stole the boombox. Anyone else say she took it? Did she take a warrant statement? No, I couldn't. How old is she? Thirteen. Maybe she's covering up for someone. A guy, her boyfriend. Okay. How should we handle this? Bag of chips and a boombox, no priors. Just do what you have to do. Two stripes. Chevrons. Corporal. Howdy. Brian Fletcher. Harris Miller. I'm looking for Gerald Kisilenko. And Roseanne Louise Dela. Rosie. I'm investigating a break in. Where's Michelle? Can't investigate your own kid, huh? Uh, something like that, yeah. I told Michelle. I read the statements. I also have a copy of your insurance claim. There appears to be some discrepancy with the list Miss Dela provided earlier and the goods recovered. I do inventory. <sighs> These insurance claims are tricky. People make mistakes. Add a thing or two. You want to have another look there, Mr. Kisilenko? This radio, it was in a carton? First, we wrapped it in a blanket. Do you remember if you got around to stamping the box? No rush. Let me know. About the inventory, too. I warned you, Jer. I warned you. I warned you. What was that all up with a stamp? If you didn't stamp it, it's theft. If you did, it's mail theft. So, did you? It had to be Albert. One more reason for Cormier to pull me out of here. Close the detachment. <laughs> And Albert appoints his own personal band constable. So what's Fletcher doing? 
Conducting an investigation. Into what, a bush party? those. Book them, Dano. These are claim stakes. It's illegal to pull them. They fell on Joe Gumbo. <laughs> From a helicopter. Well, you just give those right back to Joe Gumbo. It's Joe Gumba. I didn't know they were staking here. Neither did we. Peter Kennedy. Uh, brother. Brian Fletcher, colleague. So, did you uh, wrap up this case yet? The complainants can't even agree on what was taken. Rosie Dela didn't list the boombox. Kizilenko did, but he's scamming for insurance. He's not even sure it was stamped. And we didn't find the box it was packed in. Ask Sarah Burkett. She brought the radio to the post office. Maybe she left before they stamped it. Ask her. Okay. I'll ask her. You should listen to him. He's trying to help. He's checking up on me. He's reporting back to Cormier. What was the specific nature of the complaints concerning Constable Kennedy after the party? She was pushing the kids around, scaring them. She was responding to the situation. She's got a terrific reputation. Michelle is very well respected. She'd do well anywhere he sent her. That's good to know. Sarah Burkett, Corporal Fletcher. Smile School. What? You went to Smile School. So did I. A++. Wants to know about the radio. It was Eric's. I know. Uh, you brought it over to the post office, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, we wrapped it up in an old blanket and put it in a diaper carton, and Rosie helped me tape it up. Did they stamp it? Nathan's back. City tracked a deer, but lost it. Did you wait until they stamped it? You know, when I was 14 years old, I was Miss Goody Two-Shoes. But sooner or later, <sighs> if you're lucky. Did you see them stamp the box? I can ask Jerry. I saw them stamp the box. There. Have a peek. Thanks for your help. See the river yet? How's it fishing? It's pretty good. Maybe you'll get some time uh, before you head back. I hope so. So, this isn't really going to go to court, is it? Hard to say. It's awkward for Michelle. Mind you, I guess that's why you're here, isn't it? Why else? Well, I'll check with Joe Gamba. He knows where the fish are hiding. Will do. Did you get that list straightened out? Funny how the mind plays tricks, eh? Yeah. What's that other thing, the boom box? Was it stamped? I don't remember. Well, that's too bad. You're Fletcher. And you're? El Cizache. May I join you? How about a fresh pot of tea? That would be nice. I'm here to help Michelle. Hannah didn't steal. She says she did. And if she doesn't change her story, she'll end up in court. She needs someone to talk to her. Michelle should talk to her. She can't. She's an officer. It should stay in the family. There's no case. None of the boys are talking. Because that would be an admission that they were there. So no corroborating witness. And Archie and Edith over at the store can't get their story straight on what was taken. And they don't remember stamping the box. What did Sarah say? I'm not sure. 
She's about two bricks short of a full load, possibly three. Hannah said she stole the radio twice. Officially, she hasn't said a damn thing. Anyway, they got it back. So she just walks away? Look, this is about a broken window and a party in the bush. She's your daughter. Talk to her. I can't. You want me to charge her? Tough love, is that it? Tell me. Oh, this is just between you and me. Tomorrow, you have to come to the detachment and give me a statement about what happened. Your mom will be there, but that doesn't mean she can protect you. If you say you did this thing, you have to face the consequences. Now, what, what you told your mom the other night, that was just between the two of you. Off the record, like us talking now. I think you and your mom have some problems to work out, but you're going about it the wrong way. Think about it. I'll see you in the morning. There's some meatloaf. Anna, were you present June 15th when Mr. Kisilenko's store was broken into? Anna. Answer him. Say what? The truth. Yes. I broke into the store and I stole the radio. No one else even knew it was there. Who else was there when you broke in? This guy, Leonard. Sake. Is he your boyfriend? Maybe you're just doing this because you don't want Leonard to get into trouble. It was me. Hannah, you're not thinking because you're angry. I'm going to ask you again. It was me. I'm charging your daughter. Section 356, 348, Criminal Code of Canada. to lie or steal why'd you let him do that to me you want me to go to jail don't you what did you think was going to happen you could have stopped him i couldn't stop him it's the law get out There's no diamonds here. Why are they staking them? If they do find something, who's is it? Did you hear? They charged her. Oh, so? She did it. TP, TP, I found a diamond. Let's see. It's Kimberly. Kimberlite. Has diamonds inside? You think so? It sparkles. Could be. There's only one way to tell for sure. How? Take this rock right here. These diamonds are the hardest things in the world. Nothing can crack them. <laughs> Too bad. Keep on looking. <laughs> You know what they do to a cop's kid in prison, eh? First, the guards get you. <laughs> and then, the fat chicks, woohoo, they like them young. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, shut up. You should have kept your mouth shut. What's it like? It sucks. All you want to do is. Get out. 
It's her age, Michelle. They all do it. They just have to learn that there are rules. She's like you. She needs a good fight. I don't want to fight with her. I'm her mother. I'm supposed to protect her. You do protect her. You always have. By sending her to jail? They're going to take her away. I'll give her a slap on the wrist. Community service. She's not going to forgive me. I lost her. Judge. <sighs> Smooth flight. Like a ride in a blender. Thank you. I don't understand, Corporal. Did Miss Burkett? See them stamp the box, or did she not? Yes, she did. You're absolutely sure? There's no witness here. I am, Your Honor. Well, I'm glad you are, because I'm not. All the stolen property was returned or replaced. Yes, it was, Your Honor. And the damage to the store was the equivalent of what? $675.58. For one broken window? The stolen food, the damaged door, window. Yeah, that includes labor. And... GST. GST. Of course. That's it? Yes, Your Honor. And the confession. Yes, I broke into the store and stole the radio. Hannah, do you have anything you'd like to say? Constable Kennedy? Your Honor, she's 13. She's... She doesn't have any priors, Your Honor. I know that. Hannah, do you know what community service is? Well, you're about to find out. Because I'm sentencing you to 30 hours of community service. The nature of that service is to be determined by the band council in conjunction with the investigating officer. You're a stranger here, Corporal. I recommend you confer with the elders. I will, Your Honor. Good. There remains only for me to wonder why this case ever came to court in the first place. But with the real problems we have in the North, it's a wonder we found the time. Please get your priorities straight. I'm not going home. Hannah. No. Do what you want. She loves you, you know. Hours, not too bad. Next week should be borrowing your makeup. I don't wear makeup. I know. I, I meant. I know what you meant. Is that the way it is in your world? A quick fix and everybody's right with Jesus? Hey, Constable. I tried to help, in case you didn't notice. I noticed. Sorry. No problem. Not for me, anyway. Nice town. I see a lot worse. I hear the fishing's good. Hi. 
You're having a roast outside. We need some claim steaks. Look, I know I don't have a kid. That's obvious. But, you know, since I was one once, and I could remember it, I figured, you know, it made me half an expert. <laughs> Which is almost as good as half a pair of socks. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I didn't mean to get handed into trouble by telling, uh, what's his name, the Mountie? Fletcher, Brian Fletcher. By telling him that they had stamped the box. It doesn't matter. Burn nice. Doesn't matter what you do with the stakes. The real claim is on computers. Doesn't matter what they claim. It's our land. But Peter says. Doesn't matter what he says. It's our land. Find any diamonds? Anybody seen Hannah? She's with Peter. I have a hot dog. She wants to live with Grandma Claybank and Wolverine Lake and bus into school every day. She said she wants to get to know her father's people. You don't have to let her. One call to the judge or to Fletcher. Would that keep her here? It's like, uh... When we drove to Edmonton on the winter road, the heater broke down, you remember? Except this time we're only going up the road a couple of clicks, and we'll be back every day for school. 